starting with a need to have the humble toothpick available when and where needed, I've refigured and extended an existing DIY 3D printable design. While more frivolous, but also much more fun, I also remixed the DIY bird toothpick dispenser, enabling custom versions for both Halloween and Christmas. All SDLs are freely available from my website, and the following shows assembly steps and discusses some of the reasoning and design options taken. For those that would like to skip ahead, the video description has a timeline index. But first, the obligatory self-promotion. Not being able to have a toothpick when and where needed led to the idea of a toothpick dispenser in the style of a refrigerator door magnet. The refrigerator being a central handy location for toothpicks. Also wanted toothpicks stored and dispensed hygienically, no sticky hands thanks, touching those other toothpicks. And should be push button, so no need to pick up the container, it hopefully remains in the same place. However if needed, optimally the dispenser should be able to be used on the table or similar. So even though I've already shown the final version, some quick background on how I got there, which is also a chance to credit others for the ideas. Thingiverse has many examples of toothpick dispensers, which seem to fall into three categories. The simple container type, with or without a lid and perhaps a hole or slot through which a toothpick can be shaken to be dispensed. This is what we already have. It isn't left in the same place twice and doesn't satisfy the other criteria I previously listed. The push-up style, while dispensing a single toothpick and is relatively enclosed, the way it works means it's not really applicable to mounting magnetically on a fridge door and would therefore likely wander around so not satisfying the original requirements. The rotating design looks good, meets the majority of the listed objectives, but the following sliding design seem to be more straightforward in terms of actually being physically 3D printed. However the design as given on Thingiverse uses a print in place PLA spring type mechanism. I have tried to use PLA for such spring type mechanisms in the past, notably for battery holders, but found PLA is very stiff, requires trial and error to get the dimensions correct versus the necessary springiness, and that it eventually crept and lost its function over time in any case. So I adapted this design to use a rubber band instead. Before getting into the details of this design, the bird pecker toothpick dispenser type style of course looks very intriguing and cries out to be printed just for the fun of it. But I'll talk about this later, so back to the straight dispenser. I used Fusion 360 for creating the design, and as this animation shows, the mechanism is simple. The toothpick is held in a slot on what I call the slider, which when pressed, transports the toothpick to align with a further slot in the base, through which the toothpick falls and then is dispensed. A rubber band returns the slider to the original position, and a further toothpick falls by gravity into the slot ready for the next time. The way that the design is broken down into a main container, a side, top, bottom and the slider means all components are rectangular and can be printed without the need for supports using the correct orientation in the slicer software. The other notable feature is that the back is a click in place removable plate so that the rubber band can be replaced if necessary. Here are some time lapse videos showing the various components being printed with the relevant 3D printer and slicer software, I use Cura, settings as annotations. Settings are also listed in the video description. The assembly is rather straightforward, with the various components designed to lock into place ready for gluing. Obviously you will need the various 3D printed parts. The STL is available freely from my website. In addition a couple of magnets, a rubber band and some suitable glue. The first step is to attach the side to the main container. There are some slots and tabs on the two components to help with the alignment and glue up. However, it is advisable to put things together first to check fit before gluing. The slider has a tab that needs to be at the back where the rubber band attachment lugs are located. Check for smooth sliding action and file if necessary. The bottom plate holds things together after it is glued, but first, a rubber band is used to hold things together for the testing. Next is installing the rubber band that will move the slider back. My rubber band was a little bit too large, so I put a knot in it, 
This is to ensure that the slider action is nice and taut. There are a couple of lugs provided for attaching and tensioning the rubber band. With the dispenser temporarily assembled, check that the slider gives a nice firm push button effect. I left 0.2mm allowance in the various parts, but you may need to do some filing. And of course, put in a toothpick and check that the dispenser actually works smoothly. With the testing now out of the way, you can now glue the side to the main container. And then finally the label onto the slider. The label is optional, but is a useful way of using those last few loops on a used spool and helps the user know what to do. With the side component now glued to the container, and again checking the fit, the next step is putting the slider in place. With the tab facing towards the back, and then gluing the bottom on, which will hold the assembly together. And again wait for the glue to set. With all the components requiring gluing together now in place, the next step is installing the rubber band for the slider button. As I previously said, my rubber band was a little too large, so I put a knot in it. This is to ensure that the slider action is nice and taut. There were a couple of lugs provided for attaching and tensioning the rubber band. After checking that the dispenser works smoothly, that's it for the assembly. The final step is putting on the back plate, which is designed to be click in place and removable so that the rubber band can be replaced if needed in the future. Using a similar design to the toothpick dispenser, with some minor modifications it also makes an excellent cotton bud dispenser, hygienically storing and dispensing cotton buds. One change was the incorporation of a hinged lid, with the pin made conveniently from a piece of PLA filament. The assembly is similar to the toothpick dispenser discussed earlier, with the various components designed to lock into place ready for gluing. Obviously you will need the various 3D printed parts, the STLs are available freely from my website, in addition to some suitable glue. The first step is to glue the label onto the slider. Making a label is optional, but helps make the operation of the dispenser clear and is a useful way of using up those last few loops from a used spool. With the glue now left to set, next step is to install the hinged lid. This needs to be done before gluing on the side, as the side component when in place hides the hinge pin. This uses a piece of filament as the hinge pin. Insert a length of filament so that it bottoms out and mark the length. This helps later in ensuring that you have the filament all the way through the hinge. With the hinge in place, there are some slots and tabs to help with the alignment and gluing of the side of the container. Check that the slider has a smooth action, and if necessary file the surfaces, and ensure that the tab of the slider is at the back. Then glue on the bottom, clamping the components together with a rubber band until the glue is set. With all the components requiring gluing together now in place, the next step is installing the rubber band for the slider button. You want a rubber band short enough to ensure that the slider action is nice and taut. There are a couple of lugs provided for attaching and tensioning the rubber band. After checking that the dispenser works smoothly, that's it for the assembly. The final step is putting on the back plate, which is designed to be click in place and removable, so that the rubber band can be replaced if needed in the future. The bird type toothpick dispenser is both interesting and a bit of fun. It's still a very functional hygienic way of storing and dispensing toothpicks. I made some custom changes to the typical design, this is discussed later, but most notably my version allows different objects to be mounted, so you can have a Halloween themed dispenser for example. The design allows for the mounted model to be changed as desired, maybe a turkey for Thanksgiving, or come the holiday season, perhaps change to a Santa Claus themed toothpick dispenser for Christmas dinner. Before getting into the 3D printing and assembly instructions, some quick background on how I went about the design, and a chance to credit others for the ideas. Thingiverse has a few examples of bird toothpick type dispensers, but the design here by Aman Bezran I think is the simplest for assembly and operation, but I didn't like the look of his bird. 
and if I was going to change this, thought I could add what I think are some other improvements as well. So I created a Fusion 360 model based on Aman's idea. Hopefully you agree my bird is nicer. The bird is actually in two pieces, so it can be easily 3D printed without the need for supports. But I kept his mechanism idea, which unlike other designs, doesn't need more complicated linkages, or rather not 3D printed hardware, and the need to glue components together. This makes it easier to 3D print in terms of no tight tolerances for joints, no hard to reach and fit internal components, and overall less assembly is required. One major change is that the rubber band used as a driving force to return the mechanism to its start position is internally mounted as much as possible, giving less likelihood of breakage, entangling by a user, I think it looks much better, but also means that the bird or other model is now independent of the rubber band, unlike the original, in which the rubber band is attached to the tail of the bird. Another major difference is that the model is designed so that it can be printed without the need for supports, which are hard to remove later from the internals. Any necessary supports are built into the model. Also, I was careful to leave room to make physical assembly of the mechanism easy. Also added a hinged lid, which keeps things nice and tidy. And finally, the biggest change, since now the rubber band doesn't need to be attached to the bird, you can have other objects rather than just a bird, for example, the Halloween Witch and Santa Claus shown earlier. Assembly of the bird toothpick dispenser obviously requires the various 3D printed parts, a rubber band, some toothpicks and a piece of 3D printer filament. I have labelled parts here as to what I call them in the instructions, and the SDLs are available freely from my website. The first step is attaching the pusher shaft to the toothpick drawer. I just use a toothpick cut to size as a convenient axle. Insert this into the main container, checking that the slot for the toothpick on the drawer is facing upward. Now I need to attach the drive shaft. Note that the drive shaft has longer arms at one end. This end attaches to the pusher shaft, again just using a toothpick as an axle. The side arms on the drive shaft now fit into the grooves in the main container. Check for smooth action. The uh, 3D parts have 0.2mm tolerance included for movement, but you may need to file the surfaces. The two halves of the swivel are placed together, and then joined to the main container, with the toothpick again forming an axle. OK, now I need to install the rubber band. I use a wooden skewer to help with passing the rubber band through the channel in the back of the container. The rubber band is attached at the bottom using the provided attachment lug, stretched through the channel in the back of the container, then around the swivel and back down the channel again, where it is secured around the lug. With the rubber band in place, now connect the swivel to the drive shaft, again using a toothpick as an axle. Check the assembled mechanism for smooth action, and file off any rough edges or layer lines if needed. The final step is attaching the lid. Align the lid with the main container and then thread through a piece of 1.75mm 3D printer filament that acts as the pin of the hinge. Finally place the bird on the mounting and check for alignment and smooth operation. Well that's about it for the toothpick dispensers. If you found this useful I would appreciate if you could take the time to like, comment and or subscribe and click the bell to be notified when the next video is available.